Okay, so we've got a, a question from our buddy, um, 75 Bad Boy B. Man, maybe your friend made, made you that URL or something, or that username, and it was like a joke or something, you just stuck with it, I don't know. Anyways, so, um, uh, Bad Boy B, uh, he's wondering um, whether he should do conditioning before or after his weight training. He, he read, or he heard uh, that, I love that, I heard, I heard this. Um, he heard that doing his conditioning before his weight training will actually accelerate fat burning. Um, <clears throat> wonder, wondering whether it's true or not. <clears throat> look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point something out. Now look, the purpose of weight training is to get stronger. The purpose of strength training is to get stronger, is to build muscle, okay? The purpose of conditioning is to improve fitness levels. Okay? That's it. Fat loss comes from diet. Both of those two have a little bit of a carryover effect to fat loss um, results. Yes, I agree. But at the end of the day, your diet is going to come down to your fat loss results. So, weight training is to get stronger and build muscle. Conditioning is to get fitter. So, all the heart rate stuff. Okay? <clears throat> the purpose of strength training is to get stronger. Now, if you do your conditioning before your, excuse me, before your weight training, you will not be stronger. You will be weaker. Okay, so the answer is quite simple. You always must do weight training before conditioning. Okay, conditioning can be directly after, or it can be four to six hour, four to eight hours um, after your training. It doesn't matter. Just do it. Okay. Um, for most people, you'll find that, well for me anyways, I just do my conditioning straight after my weight training because it's done, it's out of the way, it's done for the day. And for me, the conditioning is the usual stuff like uh, sled drags, uh, farmer walks, um, sprinting, kettlebell swings, complexes, um, snatches, any, any of those nasty things. They're usually my forms of conditioning. But it's always, always, always strength training first and then conditioning. The purpose of strength training is to get stronger and you can't do that if you've just done, you know, five rounds with Mike Tyson. It ain't going to happen. So always place your weight training first, conditioning second, and you'll be far better off. Hope that helps. Take care. Comb your hair. Kitty cats, what's going down? Got a question from B-Boy B. -boy B. Um, man, that's a, that's a good, I like that. Good username. Did you come up with that yourself? If you did, good. Uh, B-Boy B wants to know if he should do his conditioning before or after his weight training. Uh, he heard, I love that one, I heard this. Uh, he heard that he should do uh, conditioning before uh, weight training because it accelerates fat burning. So if fat burning is, is the goal in mind, first off, I need to point that, you know, the purpose of weight training is to get stronger and build muscle. The purpose of conditioning training is to improve your fitness levels, so all your heart rate stuff, okay? Yes, there is a carryover with both of them to fat loss, but majority of your fat loss is gonna come from your diet. If you got these two things in right and you got your, your diet in right, then the fat loss will happen, okay? So yes, you do need all three, but um, just understand that there's not a, lot of, not a huge carryover um, with just you know, conditioning and weight training. You need to get that, the diet stuff right first for fat loss. Anywho, the purpose, I was saying, the purpose of weight training is to get stronger and build more muscle. Purpose of conditioning is to improve your fitness levels. Now, if you do five rounds with Mike Tyson and then you try and, and, and go strength train, there's a fair chance you're gonna be really weak, really, really weak. And, and again, that's not the purpose of weight training. The purpose of weight training is to be strong and to get strong. So, the answer basically is, is always weight train first focus on strength training first, and then do the conditioning after. Whether you do that directly after your weight training or a few hours or, or the next day, whatever, it doesn't matter. But just do it. Um, for me personally, I always do the conditioning straight after my weight training because it's done, it's out of the way. So I set you know, 15 minutes aside, blast myself, and it's done, it's out of the way for the day. Um, if I was focusing on getting ready for more like an RKC event thing where it's like you know three days of getting pumped, well then obviously uh, I'd focus more on the endurance side of things and draw out that conditioning stuff um, so that you know I'm ready. But if I'm just focusing on the fat loss then I'll just keep it short and intense. So um, 
and great options will obviously always be you know your sled drags and your swings for me anyways you know it's always like sled drags and swings and snatches and complexes and hill sprints and anything along those lines um, but just yeah at the end of the day the answer is always weight train first conditioning after purpose of strength training is to get stronger so make sure you get stronger take care take uh what was it comb your hair yeah comb your hair